In this overview, we will discuss how to use the exhaust fan flow meter. The tools required to accomplish this task will be, of course, the exhaust fan flow meter. We'll need a handle to hold the exhaust fan flow meter, and we'll also need a gauge. We can use the DG8, or we can use the DG1000, and we will need a length of tubing. You can purchase the exhaust fan flow meter with the yellow handle from the TEC web store. Now, if you don't already have a gauge, you can pick up the gauge from the TEC web store as a separate purchase. Let's begin by taking the exhaust fan flow meter, putting it face down. Let's attach the yellow handle to the Velcro and there'll be a port right here on the top. Let's go ahead and connect our length of tubing to that port. When measuring the flow of an exhaust fan with an exhaust fan flow meter, it's important that you know that you should not take a reading when the pascals of pressure is above eight pascals or lower than one pascal. Now we're gonna start with the access door completely open in position E1. If we're below one pascal, we're gonna slide the access door to E2. If we're still below one pascal, we're gonna slide it to E3. If we choose to use the DG8 to measure flow, we simply have to take the exhaust fan flow meter, hold it over the exhaust fan while it's running, capture a pressure measurement on the gauge, take that pressure measurement to the conversion chart on the exhaust fan flow meter and convert it to flow. If we'd like to use a DG1000 gauge, we would power up the gauge, we would select tubing assistant, other applications, exhaust fan flow meter, and then we'd want to confirm our selections. Now we can connect our other end of tubing as shown on the screen. We can hit the play button and advance to the screen that's going to show us our flow measurement. Now at this point we can go take our measurement. It's important to note that if you change the position of the access door, you will also have to make that setting change in the gauge. Now that we're all connected, we're ready to go take a flow measurement. When we're applying the exhaust fan flow meter to the ceiling, we need to make sure that we have a good seal to the ceiling and that the grill of the exhaust fan is encapsulated by the exhaust fan flow meter. And that's how we use the exhaust fan flow meter. 